Now picture this. You're in South Africa's Cape Town, admiring its stunning landscapes and soaking it all in, and suddenly that Zen state of yours is taken away by an extremely foul stench. And if you're imagining it, it's actually real. An unimaginable stench has taken hold of the entire city, forcing people to stay indoors. And the authorities have checked all possible sources, from sewage pipes to dumping grounds, but found nothing, absolutely nothing, until, until they reached a ship at its port. Our next report explains. South Africa's Cape Town is one of the best places to visit in the world. From the clear blue water of the Table Bay to the flat-topped Table Mountain, everything seems just perfect. Its picturesque natural setting is a treat for sore eyes. But not for your nose. Yes, you heard that right. The serene city is facing a stinky dilemma. A nauseating smell has taken over, which has forced its residents to remain locked inside their homes. The enveloping foul stench has currently made Cape Town practically unlivable. Some are calling it the worst stench they've ever come across in their life. Some say it felt like a sewage pipe burst. The others said it felt like someone pooped on their bed. It caused a panic-like situation and swung the authorities into action. They struggled to find out what had turned the city into a smelly gas chamber. They inspected every sewage pipe and checked for leakages and other issues, but found nothing, until they reached a city port and found the death ship. The rotten smell was traced back to a Kuwaiti ship transporting cattle. The ship, travelling to Iraq, docked at the Cape Town port to feed the livestock. There were about 19,000 cows on board. That's a whole lot of mooing and pooping in one place. Just imagine the amount of urine and feces those cattle were producing in one single day. And they've been travelling for nearly two and a half weeks. It made people wonder how the ship's captain and crew were able to tolerate the smell. Soon, animal welfare groups raised concerns. They criticised the appalling conditions of the livestock on the ship. It triggered conversations on social media with users questioning the way the animals are transported. The National Council of the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, or the NSPCA, immediately sent a vet to check on the animals. They said the stench on board is unimaginable, yet the animals face this every single day. The vet found three dead cattle and euthanized five who were in a very bad condition. Animal welfare organizations have been campaigning against this for years. The trade causes pain, suffering and distress to the animals on board. In 2023, New Zealand became the first country to ban the export of animals by sea. The ban applied to cattle, sheep, deer and goats for slaughter. New Zealand was joined by countries like Brazil, Great Britain and Australia. However, Brazil's ban was clearly short-lived as this stinky ship was travelling from Brazil. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.